What is up, gamers? Okay. So. <laughs> We're going back to MapleStory once again. I know. It's been years since I've been back. But I, I guess it's something about MapleStory that always brings me back, you know? Like all the nostalgic moments. Um... But it's also quarantine, we got nothing to do. It's 2020, lots of shit happening. So, I've actually created a goals list with the help of my stream. So a couple of goals we have in mind are simply to improve my legion because a lot of my characters have been stuck at 120. I'm like, why not bump, bump it to 140 for legion? Might as well, right? Um, and I also asked around to see what people do these days on reboot. And obviously we have some dailies, bossing to do, um, coin farming for current events, and another thing that I should get used to doing is Maple Tour every day, as well as Ursus, uh, which I haven't gotten to um, <laughs> when I played yesterday, but we will eventually. And lastly, I think another one of my goals would be to get my Kana to 235 for Mesa Farming. So we've got lots to do, and uh, we should get on moving. So the footage that I'm going to be using in these videos, I'm actually going to be taking off my live streams on Twitch.tv. You can find me at Twitch.tv slash Soaring Poop if you guys want to tune in live. Things tend to go way slower, but you know, we, we try to make it work, we try to figure things out. Um, I guess for the most part, I'll be giving recaps on what I do um, during these streams. Let me know if you guys enjoy content like this, uh, if you guys enjoy seeing, you know, progress getting back into MapleStory, uh, questions or suggestions, if you guys have any in the comments below. And let's begin. So one of the first things I actually started off with, a terrible idea, <laughs> was creating an Adele and trying to train this and get it up to 120 for the link skill but unfortunately I spent an hour <laughs> in this place because I didn't know how to get out and I wasn't sure what to do until my friend came to rescue me right um, and I was finally able to get out and train in Hennessy's and I stayed at Golems for a while until I was level 28 and then I went to Gold Beach to get the last two levels. So next I actually added this Infernal Wolf uh, Frito portal thing that pops up randomly that you could do. Um, if you guys are just starting as well, I suggest you guys do these. They give a huge amount of EXP and I think they're worth a couple seconds or minutes. So at a certain point in my stream, uh, when I, whenever I stream MapleStory, I always have my friends, well I don't have them reinstall it, but seeing me play it I guess makes them want to reinstall this game. It, it always happens when I play um, and stream MapleStory. So uh, from level 28 to 30, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> my friend grew tired of seeing me chain because it was taking literally forever since my character wasn't burned. So he reinstalled Maple Story for literally like five minutes to to help me get from 28 to 30 um, using Kishin. But we didn't know it was nerfed. So Kishin actually only has a duration of 30 seconds now and it has a 60 second cooldown. It's absolute poo poo. Um, that's why. We train our Kanas to 235 these days to farm. Um, but yeah, I, I finally got to level 30 and I decided to go on my main. 
I did some exploring for the current rise coins. They've got some pretty cool damage skins, um, which I spent some coins on later on. We're not gonna talk about that. Uh, <laughs> there's also some cool mounts and chairs that I would possibly want to collect, maybe? <laughs> um, but after I finished exploring, I did Maple Tour. This is, I learned a really good source of mesos. Just make sure that you collect your payoff um, a week after so you get double the pay instead of on the day like after you finish. It's basically like Monster Park but a mesos version. Uh, pretty sweet. It, w it wasn't that difficult to do. And I'm, my, I'm personally not that funded. My range is probably like 1.2 mil buffed, if you guys are curious. Um, but with that, I did some daily boss runs, you know, Easy Magnus, Norma Zacum, just some standard stuff that I could uh, do with my current range. Uh, and along the way, I actually met my friend AJ. Um, who also came back to Maple like possibly like four months ago and so he's a big guy <laughs> he's funded I asked him for hard hella carry because I want the free pet you know but obviously according to my luck I got the freaking earrings instead of the pet but that's okay um it was really nice talking to AJ. I ended up joining his guild and joining a guild is highly recommended because they are likely to help you with bossing, um, questions, whatever you need. And it, it kind of gives you like a purpose to play this game, you know, like a whole new friend group. Um, so I had a pretty long chat with AJ. He told me some things about like end game, uh, equips nowadays and Absolab or like Lucid, Damien, he told me to do those prequests which I should get on because I remember those were long as fuck. But yeah, after that little session he went back to what he was doing um, and I had to finish my dailies so I started doing Commercy again. I need to grind for these coins because uh, I still need accessories. I only have the sweet water glasses for now. I need the face accessory and then I'm also hoping to get an extra set um, to cube for drop because you know we need our drop gears. <laughs> it's a it's a very reboot thing. Um, and after that Typical, more st uh, more dailies. I did my arcane dailies. Here, I decided to pull up my legion, which was the smart thing, so that I could actually see what character that I need to work on. Um, I know I have a couple of thieves to work on, and like other characters such as Hayato or Kinesis. Well, we we've got a lot to do. Uh, this is where I came towards the end of my stream, which one of my friends told me that everything's inflated right now and one Bill Meso in Barra could be worth around 25k NX. Um, so what I did was I went back to Barra. Um, I put some stuff up to sell and I don't think I'm ever coming back to Barra just because it's so hard to fund um, without actually spending money and I don't want to do that so we're going for the grind life in reboot and I sewed a bunch of mesos here which later that night um, I kind of spent on <laughs> pimping up my character in Reboot and making it look pretty. Um, and yeah, uh, that's my progress for day one. And I'll keep you guys updated with the next episode on my further progressions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you guys have any questions or what you guys think I should improve about my editing or recordings. 
Um, but yeah, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.